Miss Terence Regis. Staff representative at the National Insurance Board. Primary concern for me these days is the negotiations for the new collective agreement for new salaries and terms and conditions at the end of the year. The whole process has been fraught with injustice, beginning with our instruction from the Minister of Finance, the Minister with responsibility for the NIB, our instruction from him to the Board of Directors that they ought not to exceed 5% as a salary settlement. Now, mind you, the Board of Directors on their own, prior to this intervention, agreed among themselves. They decided that they would offer a 15%, they would ultimately make available a 15% increase to workers. But the minister would have none of that. They consider that the organization could afford it. They did board. The minister understands that too. But for other reasons, he would have none of it. The other reasons, of course, is that as one of the main front men for the IMF and the World Bank, he committed to this whole approach of using the public sector generally as a means to depress the wage level in the economy. In the name of this thing they call international competitiveness, they seek to keep the wage levels as low as they can so that the possibilities of profit, of a big margin for profit, could be as large as possible for local and international capital. And that is what actually drives in government policy as it's affecting our setting and trends around the world. Fraud is injustice, I indicated. That's merely one of them. But even if it pays to the efforts to depress the wage level here, There is no such ceiling, no such bar at the level of the salaries of the executive management. Indeed, currently, even while they are imposing that 5% cap on us, something they claim that the government claims doesn't exist, there are active considerations to raise the salaries of the executive management by as much as 100%. Yes. Currently, the executive director is paid in the vicinity of $45,000 per month. And what is being considered is that the salary to be attached to that post should be somewhere in the vicinity of $95,000. The truth is, it's not unrelated to the wider system of inequality because the management here has been griping for years that they are something of the Cinderella's of the corporate world. Their counterparts in other areas of the economy are on average paid six-digit salaries, some up to $500,000 per month. What you see coming out in respect of the testimonies and the information in my report is nothing it's just a, a reflection of what's happening in the corporate world in terms of executive compensation. And one of the things that feeds the management very much, quite apart from the fact that comparatively they remunerated less, is the fact that the National Insurance Board, the firms at the NIB significantly underwrite the operations of these other enterprises. And the NIB could very well be described as one of the cash cows, not just the book, for the operations of, of CL Financial. And indeed, for more than CL Financial, but other the banks and other parts of the other conglomerates in the business sector.
what's next in terms of the negotiation? Actually, there has been a program of picket limited up to this point in time. But workers and other offices have been expressing in recent days uh, increased interest in participating in that program. So far, it has been largely confined to the, these premises that the head office. On occasions over the last two weeks, it would have extended to the Sanapona office, the Sao, the, the um, Shokona's office. Right now, the staff at the San Fernando office are planning to mount their own. And I'm pretty, I wouldn't be surprised that we will hear from other offices their willingness, if not their plans, to proceed with pickets. Of course, much more than picketing had to be carried out by the workers here. That is an important tool for us. But perhaps more, actually more fundamentally, is how we manipulate the flow of labor. That has always been and remains the major weapon of our As it would be appreciated, without the labor services of the board's workers, nothing would be possible in terms of social security provision, in terms of social security services. And unfortunately, as is always the case, the beneficiary public, the people who we serve, are going to be affected. But we can't be held responsible, responsible for their inconvenience. The people who are really responsible for them are the authorities of this, this country. They are the ones who required to make sure that everything is in place including the proper compensation of the workers, the main force in the machinery to provide social security, that we too have some kind of social security, feeling that we must do what every other worker knows he or she has to do to secure better conditions in the conditions of this kind of society that, that we live in. So inevitably, people are going to be affected. And what we hope indeed expect is that once people are affected, then it will become very much of a political issue by the various, by the right people at the right levels, that there would be a certain pressure on the authorities to solve the problem of clear and proper compensation for the people sector. What kind of links you might have with the wider labor movement? Unfortunately, they are limited, indeed, not formal. We are represented by the Public Services Association, who, as you might know, do enjoy the best relationship currently with the rest of the trade union movement, as to put it mildly. Um, we are a unit of the said Public Services Association. So that should tell you, that should answer the question about the links. But of course, everything is, doesn't depend on formal channels. I have been a past activist with the PSA, and contacts and connections have been developed over time and there remains fraternal relations between others and myself in the movement and we meet, we talk, we compare notes about our common experience and sometimes in the process of comparing notes, the way in which we compare notes would inform the way in which we proceed about our respective affairs. Such unfortunately the limited state of solidarity between us and other workers in 